Hey there again, it's Press with another overview. Today's uh, video will be on the Casio W737-1A2V. Now I did do an overview on the same watch but different color earlier last year and quickly went over the features on that same model. Today I'll be doing the same but please feel free to check out the link below to see the uh, black variant of this model, the W737H-1AV. But again for this video we'll be looking, focusing and uh, going over the 1A2V. Now Casio does offer a few choice models on this uh, for the W737H. They do offer a 1AV in a black case with red highlights, a 2AV in a blue case with yellow highlights, and then this model here, the 1A2V, in a gray case with blue highlights. Now in terms of this watch's dimensions, it does have a case size of 45.7 millimeters, a lug to lug of 51.9 millimeters, thickness of 14 millimeters, and then it weighs uh, 46 grams. Now it's definitely one of the larger watches I reviewed, uh, larger than the Classic G, but just a tad smaller uh, than the DW291H that I uh, own. I did do an overview of that uh, DW291H, which I've linked in the, script, the description below, so you can definitely check out that uh, overview below. In terms of the watch's composition, uh, it does have a resin case, a resin bezel, resin band, resin glass. Uh, the module number on this is 3488. Uh, does have a stainless steel backing plate and does have a CR2025 battery, which Casio states on the website has an approximate 10 year battery life. Now going over mo more of its specifications, uh, this watch does have a 100 meters of water resistance. It does have an amber colored LED backlight with um, a few second afterglow. It does have dual time, a uh, 1 100 second stopwatch with a measuring capacity of about 24 hours. Uh, measuring modes is in elapsed time, split time, and first and second place times. Uh, other features of this stop stopwatch uh, does include the uh, target alarm and auto start. In terms of its countdown timer, uh, the timer does measure in one tenth of a second. It does have a range of one second to 24 hours. Uh, and other features on this timer, it uh, does have that uh, auto repeat and progress beeper. Uh, additional features on this watch, um, it does have the daily alarm, hourly time signal, um, a full auto calendar up to the year 2099. Uh, you can set this in military time mode. Uh, regular timekeeping is in hours, minutes, seconds. It does show PM, no AM. Uh, it does have a month, day, and date. And in terms of accuracy, it's plus or minus 30 seconds a month. And here's some more shots of the watch. You can see at the very top you have your illuminator lettering and below that you have your Casio branding and it does say 10 year battery right next to it. And on the left hand side you have your mode and adjust indicator buttons and on the right side you have your split and start time indicator buttons. And somewhere towards the center, you have your water resistant marking up to 100 meters. And you have more water resistant marking there. It does state alarm chrono. And this would be your light button. You can see the case uh, bezel is gray and does have an octagonal shape. You do have some uh, designed in. Um, Allen bolts. And you can see on this uh, timekeeping mode you have your day. You have your day up there and your date, your PM indicator, and your regular time. And it's a little hard to tell in this window here it does uh, measure in 10 second increments. So as soon as that's done in 10 seconds or the 10 seconds is up, this will complete its rotation. And here's some uh, size shots of the watch. Here's the left hand side. You can see the buttons are in black and have these dots for grip. And here's a right side view of the watch. Same basic design. And taking a look at the back.
Let's get that in focus. All right, at the very top, you have your Casio branding, water resistant marking, module 2488. And it does state W737H for the model. Stainless steel back. And water resistant 10 bars. And made in China. And you can see the four screws at the back. And let's check out that amber color light. And here's the light on. And you can tell once I've hit it, it does have an afterglow of a few seconds actually more like two seconds and it's fairly bright now going through its features uh, here's your regular timekeeping mode And you can reset the time. You can scroll through the uh, settings here. Here's your military time function. Here's 24 hours. Here's your regular 12 hours. Here's your year, day, and date. And here's your timer. Here's your stopwatch. Here's your alarm. And here's your dual time. Uh, here you can just change the um, minutes and hours. Okay, that's a quick rundown of its features. And here's some comparisons. Here is um, the most recent uh, watch I reviewed. It's the W219H. You can see the display is a little difficult to see. And here's the Classic G. I don't know if you can tell, it has a lot of similar design characteristics, the octagonal shape, uh, the internal linings, the display, which is somewhat similar. And here's the DW291H. So you can tell it's a little bit smaller but obviously the DW291 is just massive. And here it is on the wrist. It's a little bit large. It's a bit on the large side. I prefer a smaller watch. It's not really my preference, but um, for the sake of this review, I have a six and a quarter inch wrist, so it's, it's large. It's a large watch on me. Okay, as far as some takeaways on this watch, um, some actual pluses. I do like that amber backlight. It does make it easier to read in the dark. Um, love the large display. Um, the uh, stopwatch and the timer, they're packed with features. Um, in addition to its normal features, it has that target alarm and auto start on the stopwatch. And then for the timer, it has the auto repeat and program beeper or progress beeper. Uh, love the fact that it has 100 meters of water resistance. Um, love the 10-year battery life. Uh, and I love the price tag. I paid $15.88 at Walmart for this watch. Uh, I think the same for uh, the one av um, So a lot, definitely a lot of benefits to having this watch. Um, minus is its watch is a bit large. Uh, that lug-to-lug -lug is just, it's, it's just too, too long. Um, I prefer a smaller case again. Uh, if you have a smaller than normal wrist, then I'd probably steer away from this watch uh, or go for a, a smaller watch uh, overall.
All right, so that has been my overview. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, please support my channel by liking and sus subscribing to the, my channel. Um, and definitely please leave me any comments uh, what, what you think of this watch, if you have one, if you um, like uh, this style versus or this style stylized color versus the uh, black color. Uh, again, I'd like to hear it. Uh, let me know uh, in the uh, comment section below. Uh, thank you and you guys uh, stay safe out there.